Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex. My name is Hikaru and this is Dead Maze. So for episode 4 of Dead Maze, we're going to dive a little deeper into the story. Um, I will tell you at the end of the last episode, I'm sure you remember if you, if you did watch that, that I was curious about what the different menus were. I went ahead and checked those out between episodes. I will let you know what those are now. Um, if you click on this one, it takes you to the discussion forums, uh, which is a separate website. This one takes you to launch the Discord server. Apparently Discord is an official partner of this game, uh, and they have an official Discord server. Um, this one here is three quests. If you click to change one, it lets you change one for free every 24 hours. I don't know if they charge past that, but it did say I could have one free. This is the extent of, that I can find of their um, microtransaction store. It looks like the currency is strawberries, um, which is kind of neat, kind of Firefly-like. Um, the prices weren't too crazy. Um, I think it was like 100 for 99 cents. So like these these items are like, you know, a dollar, two dollars, dollar seventy five. Um, and if you notice, they do actually have stat boosts, uh, which is very interesting. Um, I don't really think this is the kind of game that would be pay to win because I don't really think there's a competitive nature to this game. It looks like it's all PVE. But, uh, I mean, these definitely have stat boosts on it. And then, of course, it looks like there's timers. So I assume they rot rotate things in and out. And then there is reputation, which I have been earning by doing quests. And it looks like you can buy these with reputation as well. And uh, with the little bit I've played, my guess is once you get going, it's probably not that hard to get the reputation. Um, so that's good. Um, although, looking here, it looks like it might be reputation and the strawberry currency i'm not 100 percent sure on that so you might have to have reputation no matter what so you might have to play the game to get access to that uh the next thing is your local map uh how many survivors and monsters are there and then this is the group invite screen and then of course it goes without saying that is the settings menu um oh looks like i leveled so let's see what can i do i can get a high quality saw I can get 30 fertilizer or firecrackers. Let's get a saw. Okay. Boom, boom. Oh, and there's reputation right there. Okay. Very cool. You know, I notice I have a fifth and a sixth slot, but there's nothing here. I wonder if it just waits till something drops in it. I see a line there. I wonder if these are like... They're not... I don't think they would be hot spaces, but... What are these? Survivor's notes. Survivor's notes. this to uh, here's a conflict compilation of information about our doom that I managed to collect before silence replaced the news media Ugh. six months ago earthquake located in mid-atlantic range started a chain of events that would destroy the foundation civilization yeah we saw that in the intro um, earthquake destroyed the equivalent of 5,000 megatons of TNT Jeez, equivalent of 300,000 Hiroshima's. Yeah, I would say biblical disaster would definitely be a good description for that. It's a very interesting name to, to call this. Very iconic. Um, okay, looking for more. Wow, this is just a recap of the devastation. That's uh, depressing. Okay. Um, I guess it's just information if you're interested. Okay. So I want to put the saw on the bar. And I'll take the frisbee off. There we go. Very cool. So I have a, I have a saw now. Let's see. Looks like it's probably a little larger range, and it's definitely more damage. 57 compared to 19, but that is fast, so we'll have to see how slow this is. It says medium. That shouldn't be that bad. Okay, let's jump in now that we've dug through the menus and done a little bit of exploring. Four minutes in, everybody's probably dying for some action, so let's get out and kill some zombies. Or, excuse me, infected. Once again, I really wish I could move faster. No, not of these buttons? Nope. None of those buttons. Okay, so we're talking to Murph which I just noticed is sharpening the knife at the bottom of her crutch. Well, I mean, 
mean, if you're hardcore, you're hardcore. Oh, I see she's missing a leg. I didn't notice that before either. Let's see. All right, new blood. <laughs> Time to prove you ain't just words. <laughs> wow. Yeah, her and Chloe have very, very distinct personalities. I got no plans to go easy on you. You got that? <laughs> you got doll, pa doll face for that, right? Okay. Either get to work or get off my lawn. That's a, that's okay. Okay, so go to Sergeant Lopez. A lot of uh, running around and bouncing around here. Let's let's see. Keyboard shortcuts. Sprint is space. Okay. Oh yeah, space. Interesting. That works. I guess is they probably use shift and control for other things because space is definitely an odd choice. But I also have a spread bar, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so it says it's down this way. Oh, there he is, flipping a hand axe. That's uh, it's a very sergeant thing to do. I like it. Makes him seem like a BA. Hey there, get a new recruit. Lead the guards. Oh, this could be good. Well, here's the good news. If you survive this cleaning operation, you will earn some precious street credits. The bad news being that I'm not sending my men to back you up. Oh, we're not scavengers. Okay, well, me and my boys protect. We don't attack. Um, they protect, not attack. Uh, you, we keep you guys safe when you're inside the walls. Okay, fair. The Skaven. Scaven? Oh, short for scavengers? Can't start the looting in those conditions, so we need to clean it first. That's where you come in. You get there? Okay. I'm literally just going to go there and kill everything. Alright. That sounds fantastic. That's what we were waiting for, right? Oh, okay. I just have a mission that says kill infected. That sounds fantastic. Let's go... Oh, that's right. I keep hitting space, but it's not space. That is definitely going to take a while to get used to. Bike and the suburbs. Exactly where the suburbs. Oh, tells her right there. Very cool. Okay, let's go see if we can find some stuff. I wonder if there's like a chest or something where you can store your items because that is not a big bag. That was actually what I was kind of hoping to find when we were digging around. I was I was hoping to find. Let's see bag space, like purchasable bag space or something. I'm always a sucker for that. There we go. Water came back up. My food is good. My rest is not. Um, that's probably not good going into this mission. So let's camp. Um, I don't really need to do food or anything like that. Feel the fire? Sure. I'll put that book in we read. <laughs> I don't know what it was for. Hopefully it wasn't anything important. Um, expired biscuits. Might as well eat that. There we go. Back up to 100. This looks much better. Break camp. Okay, so now I'm ready to go out. So that's not that bad. Resetting isn't that bad. It's just a matter of coming back. Oh, I've got the apple. Well fed. Bonus heal. Well, now we know. Last episode I had asked that question, and now we know the answer. Okay, let's get over here, do some killing. Oh, it's not actually that slow, really. Okay. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm taking a beating. Uh, maybe a little bit of bob and weave is a good idea. Of course, I've got to make sure I activate my skills. Oops. Oh, that was interesting. So I was accidentally clicking on the the bench. Interesting. Healing skill plus four percent. So does that mean if I eat it, I go up four percent, or I don't know. Let's eat it and find out. Do I get a buff? Chomp it down. 
don't see a buff anywhere. Maybe not. Okay. I don't see anything necessarily exciting to scavenge. What is that? Teddy bear. Well, as cool as a teddy bear is, oh, I can click on this. Paper. I don't know why I would need paper. I mean, I, I know paper's for writing, but I mean in the game, I don't know why I would need paper. Oh, there's a baseball bat. Can I take the baseball bat? I can! Nice! So do these have a durability? I don't remember. Doesn't look like it. I like that. Durability stuff really drives me crazy. Man, it's all about taking advantage of that buff. That buff is amazing. Wow, what is this? Oh, <laughs> I just said, does it have durability? Apparently the answer is yes. Because <laughs> that gives me durability. <laughs> okay, killed 14. I mean, this is a basic kill quest. Ah, that guy's like a football player. Okay, let's pop this kill in here. I was hoping he was going to do like a special attack or something. Um, beef rib steak. Yeah, my fire stats coming down. What else I got in here? Bandage, a carrot. Oh, this was the healing skill apple. I think I ate the wrong thing. Let's try that and see if I get the buff. Uh, just the well-fed buff. I don't see anything else. Yeah, definitely a lot of questions still. There's a broom. I think this episode, my friends, is just going to be a bunch of zombie killing. It's okay. It's a zombie game to kill zombies, right? Here we go. Got to be careful with the sprint because it looks like it takes stamina to run around. Myself in a bad situation. A heal actually heals a lot. That's a and then it looks like it heals me over time too. It's got a four second cooldown. Which is a good cooldown. Oh, I one shot of that guy. I don't like him. Looks like it does some... Um, what's over here? A battery? Board game? I wonder what the combos are. Small bottle of water. Hmm. Is he a bigger? <laughs> Pretty sure he just like grew in size. Oh, a skull. Ooh. Oh, was that a fireman axe? S okay, I gotta make room for that. That's awesome. Let's uh, eat the fish. I can't think of any reason not to eat it. No reason to drop it. Okay. And then we're going to put the fireman axe here. I can drop one of these knives. Let's try it. It says slow, but... Oh, what's this? Fatigue. Stamina gain minus 10%. That's because I'm, I'm assuming it's because I'm at 17. Look out the door. No, door's locked. I'm really impressed with the buildings. There's a lot going on in those buildings. You would think that um, there'd be a little bit of detail, but there's a lot of detail. I'm actually, like, really shocked. I mean, a lot of furniture, stuff on the... Oh, jeez, that's not good. Toxic, but it gives you 32 water, huh? Um, I mean, there's stuff on the furniture, there's stuff on the walls, cracks in the building, you know, bloodstains. It's like, there's a lot of detail. I'm going to go back to camp because I need to, I need to get my, actually, let's go here. 
Okay, let's try the axe. Oh wait, it is slow. It is definitely slower. Okay, we're going back to the stall. Okay, we survived that. That was brutal, though. What's in the box? What's in the box? A math book. have to tap the space bar to start running like goes into run mode that's good um, where is the camp is there a map no mm. I feel like it's up so let's go up here it is. Okay, we will camp, get our energy back, and head back out to kill some more zombos. Infected, as they call it. What's with the bonus? I'm not sure. Lots to learn. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the bonus received. Pa okay, that's the passive bonus for being well fed. Oh, yeah, it's right there. wonder why it's there and there. Or if maybe this is an extra bonus just for being in camp. I'm not sure. But either way, that's going to end this episode. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dead Maze. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below tips or tricks you might have if you've played the game. Or let me know if you're going to try it after seeing this video. I'd love to know if anybody is going to jump into game. That'd be cool. Oh, it looks like someone sat down in camp with me. Um... Don't forget that uh, we do post a minimum of four videos a week, including gaming videos and pop culture videos. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when we post our new videos each week. We also have t-shirts available. Link in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex, and we will see you next time.